Hi everybody, welcome to another career tutorial. I'm Craig Man. What we're going to do this time through is we're going to um, make a an atmosphere for a planet. And uh, it's not going to be as cheesy as a lot of the other planetary stuff I've done. I'm kind of leaning into this and learning it a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and start out with the new scene. Uh, it's been a while since I did one of these, so bear with me. Uh, we're going to start with a large scene, and instead of fighting and, and trying to drag the clouds, which I do this a lot, I like dealing with the medium scene, but when you bring clouds and stuff in there, you, you really got to kind of fight with it. So go into a large scene. We are going to be dealing with clouds, so let's uh, grab one of those. And you have your volumetric clouds and your old volumetric. Let's go volumetric proper. And let's look at the size. 20 by 20 by 10. Let's make that 20 by 20 by 20. Or it's 0.20 by 0.20 by 0.20. And we are in the in the row. Kapow. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Now, before we do anything else, I want to, uh, I, I did this on the last one, and I went so far, and this, the way that the handle is brought in on the object, this is the only object that does that, kind of makes me a little crazy. Uh, I'm sure as a if you're a regular user, it probably drives you a little nuts, too. But uh, go ahead and go over here and take the time to bring your hot point to the center. Now let's make a sphere and let's align these by doing command K kapow kapow and everything is centered now let's take a look at what the clouds look like around our planet nothing uh, they look it doesn't look good at all so let's go over here and grab our volumetric cloud and start tweaking it a little bit uh, first of all we want to make it a basic shape and this is you know I always kinda of wondered well, why do they have the basic shapes this is probably uh, one of the reasons why let's go ahead and make this a sphere and let's see what it looks like against our our uh, sphere or other sphere our planet it's supposed to be our planet yes bring it down you know, I'm kind of wondering, is everybody still using Carrera? <laughs> I haven't seen, you know, I've, I go on there and there's there's less and less postings about Carrera. I see, uh, most of the stuff I see these days is uh, is Daz Studio. So, you know, if you're doing Carrera, this is, I mean, there's still stuff to do in Carrera. Don't, please don't drop it. It's a great program. Uh, but I was just kind of wondering. Volumetric clouds, uh, let's bring our quality of the clouds up a little bit. Um, we can make our thresholds kind of uh, porous, but we're not going to do that. Let's go ahead and bring our sharpness down. We don't want to see all the detail, all the spots and artifacts that are going to be generated through doing a sharpness filter. So we want to we want it to be kind of blurry see that you see the atmosphere starting to form let's go ahead and bring this down a little bit too much there we go let's kind of zoom in on that see what it looks like up close and personal there we go. I'm kind of wanting that. Now you notice that there is a little bit of the. Uh, it looks like banding of, of some kind, and and it seems like it's trying to put a pattern in there. So let's jump in here. Uh, maybe bring the sharpness down a little bit more. Bring it down to five. Maybe bring the scale up. See what that looks like. Bring the scale up. Same thing. Must just be the size of the. Oh, and I do have it on low. There we go. 
Yeah, same thing. Whatever. Whatever. But you notice that there's a little bit of atmosphere around here. Now let's see what this looks like if we put it into practice. Uh, let's give this thing a face. Let's do a texture map. Kapow. And I found a really good texture map of uh, of uh, the Earth. And there's one on NASA, but if you just do a Google a Google search, you'll find some really intense. This is only 2700 by 1350. Uh, I saw a 10,000 pixel uh, representations of the same thing, and there, you get some some really detailed big maps out there. And my atmosphere, actually, when I add the uh, clouds, it's going to be a, diff a big map too. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh, okay. Now we've got we've got that, and this is pretty this. If this is all you're wanting to know, this is pretty much the end of it. But I want to show you um, what it looks like with a little bit of clouds on it too. Bring that just a little bit bigger, and I found this online too. Create a new master. I found this one online too, and it's a very cool uh, big map and look at this this is 9.6 meg 8,000 by 4,096 and there was a bigger one than that too but I didn't I didn't want to break the inner uh, break my machine so uh, we brought this in it's a JPEG kapow and oh you know what I didn't want to do that let's copy this paste in the alpha and then make this white. There you go. That's kind of atmospheric. And there we go. And there you go. That's our uh, planet. Uh, there's a little bit of atmosphere right there. Uh, yeah, the main thing is just making it into a sphere and then taking some of the detail out of it. That's really going to help make things a lot better. Anyway, uh, that's it for this time. I'm Kripe Man, and I'll talk to you again later. Bye.